What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we're learning about Snappy Driver Installer. If you've tried to use driver installers in the past and they get you with the whole it's free but you have to spend $80 to get all your drivers installed, look no further. Snappy Driver has all in one package and it's 100% free. So you head over to the website at snappydriverinstaller.org, click on download now. It'll take you over to Glenn's page. Scroll down here, you have a couple different options. You can have the application and driver packs via turret or you can do the normal zip file. To make it easier to find, I recommend just making a new folder called Snappy Driver. Click Select Folder and Extract All. Alright, so now that you have that, depending on your system, you're probably going to want to be using the 64-bit. Once you get the application loaded up, you're going to have the license. You can scroll down to rate all of the terms of service. Once you're done, click Accept. Now, before we do this, I always try to put everything in dark mode, so we'll swap over to dark. That way we can see a little bit better. So from this page, you have a couple different options. You can download all driver packs. This is mostly for technicians, so you don't really need this if you're just doing it for your own personal computer. You can have download network drivers only. Get the latest LAN Wi-Fi drivers. It allows your PC to get online quickly and is relatively small download. Or you can do download the indexes. This is going to actually scan your PC to see exactly what drivers you're missing. It should only take a few minutes, but it is going to require internet connection. And the required driver packs need to be downloaded. If you're a casual user, this is the option you want. It'll take a minute to have all of the files connected to each other, and then you should be able to see where exactly your PC is at. Looks like we found 64 different drivers that we were missing. So you'll notice whenever you're downloading them, it's going to be highlighted green. So you can click select all if you want to just have it the easy way. You can also uncheck create a restore point if you're not trying to. And you should just be able to click install. And instead of it trying to pull up that menu to look for the package drivers, obviously we already have that installed, which is why everything's working as intended now. Now, some may say more optimal driver available, though it's older. I feel like as long as it's more optimal, then that's what we want for our computers anyway. So we're going to go with that regardless. I am on a older system. I'm running on an i7-8700K and a 1080 Ti, so that might be why it's popping up this, though it's older. And if you're on a brand new system, you might not run into that issue at all. All right, so now that we're all done with that, you'll notice at the very top here it says installation completed, system restart required. Now, for example, where it says like already installed, I think that's just having a hard time finding my flight stick drivers since we had a little bit older flight sticks. It looks like everything else went successfully, so all we have to do now is restart our computer. All right, there we go. So we managed to fix our driver on our HOTUS by clicking the drop down arrow and clicking just where it says already installed. I assume maybe it just had some slight tweaks. But as you guys can see, the rest of our updates have fully gone through. If this guide helped you guys out, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.